In option, you would have heard about the terms like call option, put option and all. In this session, we are going to talk about call option, especially American call option. So what is American call option? It is an option where the holder of the option is going to get the right to buy. Okay, so if you are going to get the right to buy, we call it as call option. If you are going to get the right to sell, we call it as put option. So here, the holder of the option is getting the right to buy or say right to call in. Okay, right. So he is getting right to buy what? He is getting right to buy specified securities at a specified price on or before a specified date okay so if the owner of the option is getting the right to buy specified securities at a specified price on or before a specified date we call it as a call option and why we, why we call it as american call option because this is on or before specified date if it is going to be only on a specified date we call it as an european call option okay let's understand this with some numbers look at here you have call excise price at 125 market price on excise date is 140 this call excise price ex excise price let's say we are talking with a reference to security that is share and this excise price i'm going to denote it in short form e and this market price on excise date i'm going to denote it in short form s1 now if you are the owner of call option what will you do you have an option to excise okay you can excise your right to buy share at 125 from your seller when the same is available in the market for 140 rupees what will you do obviously you will excise your right because if you want to purchase the same share from market you have to pay 140 rupees but by excising your right on the option you can buy it for 125 rupees it means there is a benefit or there is a gain of 15 rupees how Look at here, your market price is greater than excess price, that is 140 is greater than 125, so there is a benefit of 15. And how you derive this 15? You have derived this as S1 minus E. What is S1? It is market price. What is E? Excess price. So this 140 minus 125 is the benefit what you are getting by holding the option. So we call it as C. Okay, that is value in short, I'm going to express or represent that using C. So value of the option is nothing but market price minus excise price. That is market price on the excise date minus excise price. In short, we are going to say value C is equal to S1 minus E. Done. Now, just look at this scenario where you are given excise price is 125 market price on excise date is 120 what will you do that is you have an option where you can excise your right to buy the share at 125 rupees whereas the same is available in the market for 120 rupees will you excise your right no right because if you excise your right that is if you are going to purchase that at 125 rupees okay whereas the market price is only 120 you're going to end up in loss look at here already we derived the formula for value value c is equal to s1 minus e what is s1 120 what is e 125 if you are going to excise this then your value will become negative but no rational investor will do that so whenever s1 whenever s1 is below excise price no rational investor will do that so in those cases c will become zero and c will not turn out to be loss unless you are irrational okay so no rational investor will do that okay and here if you want to get benefited out of the option the market price should be greater than excise price okay so the buyer of the option will always expect the market price s1 to be greater than the excise price it means they are always bullish whereas the seller of the option that is the writer of the option they always expect the market price to be less than excise price it means they are bearish right now how we derived the value of the option we derived c is equal to s1 minus e so when s1 is greater than e c will be positive right value of option will be positive when s1 is greater than e but this value of option will not turn out to be negative when s1 is below e that is it will not turn out to be negative rather it will be zero because the holder of the option will not excise this right he will not turn out to be irrational so the loss there will be no loss there will be no gain there will be no loss so it's going to be zero so s i mean it is going to be zero when s1 is less than or equal to e 
now this gives rise to the understanding or this gives a, a small modification in the formula because we said c is equal to s1 minus e right it is not merely uh, s1 minus e we are going to say c is equal to maximum of s1 minus e comma 0 that is s1 minus e if it is positive then that and 0 will be compared okay so whichever is maximum that is going to be the value and if s1 minus e is going to be negative this is the scenario where market price is less than excise price okay then you will get negative figure figure here that will be compared with zero whichever is higher so zero is higher so eventually you will get c is equal to zero that's why we said value of call option will be zero when s1 is less than or equal to e okay and it will be positive when s1 is greater than e so we say c is equal to maximize s1 minus e comma zero